What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated the Pokemon League yet again. And uh, well, the Pokemon that I migrated from Pokemon Fire Red and Emerald, we all know this. They are Trifecta Champions. Unfortunately, it doesn't show right here because, well, you know, I, I, I just don't know. I, I really don't know. But they, everybody knows, including you guys, that my Pokemon are Trifecta Champions. So, what needs to happen now is that we're going to be doing a small side quest. Apparently, something is afoot. And we need to check. Let's talk to this guy right here. Draven! I'm truly surprised! I can't believe that such a great trainer has been so close by all this time. Draven, you have been helping me understand what it means to walk with Pokemon. It is that. There is no end to our, the relationship between people and Pokemon. Let me thank you once again for your support. And well, let's see. We're not gonna be really we're not gonna be really getting anything right here. Now, let's see. If we talk to this guy, that's still in Pokemon. I wonder how it's doing and raised by okay, yeah. So in this episode right here, we're gonna try and see what's going on with Silver. You know, our good old buddy Silver. We need to close the door on that, that little shindig right there. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go into Kanto and we're just gonna be, you know. We're, we're just going to be traveling along the roads because we've already did everything. We've defeated everybody. There's just, there is just one event that we need to complete. But we need to win something in order to complete that event. It's, it's so confusing, guys. It really is. Anywho, here we are in Pewter City. And, uh, well, let's go on our bike right here. Actually, let's not do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and press that button. Here we are in our bike. And let's move on ahead and see if we can actually find our good old buddy... What's his face? Silver. Now, we've defeated everybody, and we can actually grab that now that we have Rock Climb, but I choose not to. I choose not to. And, well, let's not do that. So, let's see. If we go right here, and nobody comes by right here. Okay. So, our good old buddy, our good old buddy Silver has had a history of uh, hating Team Rocket and all that stuff. And we never really got a proper answer, mainly because, well, shoot, you know, he, he's a hater. He really is a hater. And, uh, well, let's see. I think the next place we actually have to go to is right here into Blackthorn City. And, well, thankfully we don't need the Whirlpool technique. We just need to do one little thing. So we're going to be speeding through this. Yes, surfing through, good old Leonardo doing its thing, and man, can you believe that we're almost done? We are almost done, guys, and uh, well, I think the last thing that we need to do right here is go straight into the Dragon's Den, because apparently there might be a little something that we need to complete. If I remember, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Silver wants to go train. He's finally he's finally using his noggin and realizing that, you know, Pokemon are more than just brute force and everything. And would you look at that? Silver's right here. And he's like, "What? Are you are you here to make fun of me or my training?" Hmm. I took my time coming all this way here. But the master won't tell me anything and he's making a big deal out of it. So I decided to train my Pokemon here instead. Hmm. And because of that, it triggers this event right here. And here we have Lance and Claire, and <laughs> Lance is like, Hi, Draven! And you. We met at the Team Rocket hideout. You! Where, you have, where, where have you been all this time? Prepare to lose to me this time. I challenge you. Calm down. I was in a bit of a hurry then. Sorry for that, but I always uh, welcome challengers. Hey, what about a double battle? Hmm. <laughs> You can't beat me one-on-one, -on -one, can you? Come on, a double battle is really not bad. Draven, you'll be on by my side. Well then, you come over here, or you, you over there. Will you team up with me? <laughs> Silver's like, you must be kidding. That embarrassing one, or that embarrassing one in the weird costume for me? No way I can battle with her. Oh wow, oh wow, he, <laughs> wow, he, he does that, he does not have any manners. Draven, you come by my side. We'll beat Lance together. Okay, so here it is, a double battle with Silver. Look at this. And we're taking both we're taking on both Gym Leader uh, Claire and uh, and Lance, yeah. Look at that. Two starter Pokemon. 
So we're gonna fast forward that, and we're gonna go with an ice beam to Dragonair. Look at this. Yes, I'm pretty sure that was clear as Dragonair. And well, here comes a Thunder Wave that will indeed paralyze us. And well, let's go right ahead and not get paralyzed. So here we go again, and there we go. Finish off the Dragon Knight. Now we have to prevent for Alligator or Gyarados from uh, actually what was it called? Um, powering up a little bit more. So what we need to do here is we need to go with Shocker because yeah. Okay, Shocker. Here we go. And let's go with a discharge, destroy everybody, and oh wow. Okay, so it looks like to me <laughs> Gyarados is kicking our butt. Alright. Let's go with Hadouken and lower this guy's attack and go with this go with a, a dragon claw right here and crap baskets! Oh wow, we're getting our butts kicked. Okay, Sage of the Halo. Okay. Earthquake attack. Finish him. There we go, and Okay, so, let's go with, uh, let's see. Let's go with the Leaf Blade onto Gyarados. That right there will mess everything up, and just like that, we take care of the problem. And here comes Charizard. So let's go straight for an Earthquake attack. And Sage goes to level 30, or 66, and, wow! <laughs> We're getting our butts kicked, and, well, let's go with a return. I'm pretty sure Sage loves us enough, and no, he doesn't. <laughs> he does not! And, well, Charizard is, uh... Not happy in it right now, so let's go straight for a surf attack. And just like that. <laughs> okay, so Yeah, we need a we okay, so <laughs> we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit, so let's go with Smash right here. And here comes a Draco Meteor. That will lower this Pokemon's attack. And here we go with the body slam. Obviously with a uh, what was it called? Um with a safeguard, it's not going to be paralyzed, and, well, look at that, it's losing everything. So let's go with Leonardo, and go with an Ice Beam, and that will hit us, and, well, you know what, let's go right ahead, and use a full restore, yes, I know. Okay, so there we go, Draco Meteor, this guy is weak, so let's finish it off. Put it out of its misery, Ice Beam attack, and just like that, we win. Okay, so there it is. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, Silver had a Crobat, and that doesn't happen just like that. It needs to love its trainer, and it looks like, holy crud, somebody loves Silver. Just as I expected, you, you two make quite a team. Going solo is certainly one way to aim for the top. But that's not all there is to Pokemon to a Pokemon battle, although I don't feel it's necessary to remind you guys. See you, Draven, in another time. And, of course, Claire doesn't like us. She hates us, and she's like, I must excuse myself. Draven, it was a fun battle. That goes for you, too, wise guy. Oh, wow. Man, you're certainly making an impression right here. Draven, I was, it wasn't supposed to go this way. Anyway, I'm not giving up on beating you. I'll train my Pokemon in my own heart, too. I'll come back as the toughest challenge for you. Okay. So... After all that, I think that triggers something else. So we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going to another thing right here. And yes, we're gonna be finding ourselves some magic carps and all that crud. Okay, let me see if this actually works. I could be wrong because we just witnessed something right here. Something amazing. A Pokemon actually loves. A Pokemon actually loves. Uh, silver. You know, the most unlikable rival ever. So let's go straight to. New Bark Town and see if it actually works out, okay? Now, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, so I wouldn't know. Now, if you go right here, and this guy's gonna be coming up to you, he's like, Draven, guess what? The person who took Professor's Pokemon has come back to return it. That's the last thing I expected. Guess what Professor Alm said to him? It seems that your Pokemon already likes you so much. For a Pokemon, the best happiness is to be with someone it loves. I think it should stay with you. Isn't it moving? It made me cry. So, after those events, yes. You know, Silver finally gets to keep these Pokemon, so there's some justice, and, well, let's see. Uh, let's see, he needs to reward me for something, okay. So, that right there is that. Now, I do believe there is one more thing to do. One more thing! And that is to go straight to the Pokemon League, because I think... 
he's powered up, ready to go. So, let's see what happens right here. Let's go straight into the Indigo Plateau and see what happens. And nothing happens. Okay, so... Could be wrong. No, nothing. Okay, so let me get back to you guys in just a little bit. I think I need to do something right here. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back into the Pokemon League. So, there is... Well, there is two ways of actually activating this last battle. So it has to be either Monday or Wednesdays, right here in the Pokemon League, in order to trigger this event right here. Now, you do... You can battle this guy anytime you want. It's just, uh, you know... It's not really a final battle. It's just, you know, him wanting to beat you and him never wanting to... Never uh, really beating you. So as you guys can see, it is currently Monday, and Silver's like, hold it! You're going to take the Pokemon League Challenge now! You'll have to give up on that! Well, my train beyond recognition Pokemon are going to pound you! Right now, right here, I challenge you! Okay! So here it is, guys. The final battle. Not exactly the final battle, but the final battle against rival Silver. And, well, he has a new lease in life, he has a new view, and, yes, he, he he's actually, you know, a, a, well, somewhat reformed guy, kind of like an anti-hero, as you guys can see. He does have the same Pokemon, except there is a proof, there is proof to his, uh, you know, his change, and that is his Golbat evolving into Crobat. If you guys don't know, in order to evolve Golbat into Crobat, it has to be through happiness, love, love for that trainer, and apparently... There is a Pokemon that loves this this guy right here, you know. Now, this right here closes out, you know, a almost 10-year-old, um, 10-year-old, uh, what was it, uh, a 10-year-old story that was never really finished prior to this whole release and all that stuff. Um, if you guys remember Pokemon Heart, or Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, Silver was just silver, okay? There was nothing to him, there was nothing explained. And then when these games came out, our gold, soul, silver, bam, it just completed everything. As you guys probably already could tell, or saw in the last few episodes, uh, what was it? We've pretty much uncovered the whole history of silver through time, tra time travel, and that is that silver is the son. It is the, he is the son of Giovanni. And, well, we eventually figured out what happened to Giovanni. He kind of, you know, got beaten by us, somehow, through time travel. Another version of us, I guess I should say. So, yeah, everything has been completed, and, well, this guy's story is about to just end right here, because, yeah, we're kicking his butt real quickly. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Gengar, so let's speed this up right here. Crunch attack, that's how you do it. And he's going to be coming out with a Magneton, so let's go with Big Booty Butkus and go in straight for the Flamethrower attack, just like that. Oh, yes. Flame, it, it just got fainted. It fainted. And here comes Crobat, so let's go right ahead and switch it out. As you guys can see, Crobat, yeah, it loves silver. It really does. And there you go, the finishing touches, guys. Crobat, you have been defeated, my friend. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. There you go. That's how you do that. Okay. And Rival Silver is like, Okay, I lost. He finally admits defeat. Oh no, I still can't win after all this training. I, I, I have to believe in more in my Pokemon. No big deal. Sorry to have gotten in the way. Don't forget to rest your Pokemon before you challenge the champion. Wow. Wow, this guy is truly reformed. So, anywho, that completes that. In the next episode, guys, we are going to be doing, um... Uh, I guess we're going to be doing some more legendary Pokemon capturing. This is going to require a Master Ball, now that we... I guess we captured most of the Pokemon right here. So, yes, guys, in the next episode, we will be capturing... The final three legendary Pokemon in this game. And then completing this game entirely by taking on... The, the the legendary Pokemon trainer himself, Red. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for uh, being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.